Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to do the Geek Benchmark 5 test on the Ico Neo 6 device. Right now, as you can see, this is the Ico Neo 6 device which I got right now. And it's my first time doing the Geek Benchmark test in this device as well. And let's find out, friends, what will be the highest scores we can actually expect in this uh, Geek Benchmark 5 in this Ico Neo 6 smartphone. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. And we'll try to see what will be the single core and multi core performance we can expect in this Ico Neo 6 device. And one more thing, this is the Ico Neo 6 which I'm trying to use is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. So there are two different models, right? Snapdragon 870 and Snapdragon 8, 8 Gen 1. So this is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor mobile phone which I'm trying to use. So I'm really curious to see friends what will happen with the overall benchmarks, single core and the multi core performance, how much high it can actually go up to. That's what I'm going to uh, demonstrate and check in this video. Again, I'll be back after some time. So finally friends, we got the single core and the multi core results in the Ico Neo 6 which did score about single core of uh, 1221 and 355 is a multi core so which is really good for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor which is pretty high when compared with other Snapdragon 888 Plus and 888 processor. So definitely friends, I'll try to do the side by side comparison with other Ico phones and other processor mobile phones. So stay tuned for those videos in case if you're interested. Even with the Dimensity 8100 chipset also I'll try to compare side by side so stay tuned for those videos friends and meanwhile signing off until then thank you for watching and bye.